So you want to learn how to make vertical gaming videos? You've come to the right place. Let's get started. Stick around to the end of this video to make a gaming short just like this. Okay, I think I'm in first. I think I'm in first. I don't see anyone else in front of me. This is it. This is opportunity. I might actually make this. No! What was that? No! Unbelievable. Oh! We were right there, what's going on? Now for this tutorial, I'm using NVIDIA, which actually allows you to edit videos right from your web browser, AKA, you don't need a super fast computer. You can click the link in the description of this video to sign up for free, and then you can follow along with this tutorial. Plus, if you enjoy the editor and you wanna get the premium version, you can actually get 25% off their annual plans with my code Colin25. Special thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. All right, so here I am on the InVideo website, and what we can do is we can actually click on blank canvas for now, and we'll go to vertical, 9 by 16 and then we just click make a video, and that's going to take us into the editor. All right, so here we are inside, and what we're going to do right away is we're going to make sure we're under this upload section, and we're going to click upload media, which is going to open up our files and allow us to upload videos to InVideo's online editor where we can edit them. So I'm gonna do that. Just going to select my clips here and click open. It's gonna add them in and it will take like a minute or so for them to load in to where we can edit them. And while we're waiting for those, I do wanna show you the templates really quick. Cause as a gamer, a lot of times you wanna bring people to your longer streams and not just do short form content. So what you can actually do is if I search something like gaming intro and click search here, What'll actually come up is a whole bunch of different templates that you could use on something like shorts or TikToks that you can bring people over to your stream. I actually saw, if we scroll down here, these two, which I think are super awesome. This here, it says stream, you know, stream starting soon, and you can show your gameplay. And so you can post that to TikTok so your followers know that, hey, I'm gonna be on Twitch, or if I'm streaming on YouTube, you know, wherever you're doing that, you can post this to your short form content to help drive traffic over to your gaming videos. So I find these super, super cool, and they're really just drag and drop templates. You add your footage and they're already designed for you. Now, some of these templates are free, some are paid. If you want all of them, again, you can sign up for that annual plan, get 25% off with my code. But I just wanna let you know that these are here and can be super useful for your gaming TikTok or shorts channel. All right, so my video is just finished uploading. I've got them all here, and we're gonna just jump right into putting this together. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click the plus button on the clip that I want to add and it takes me right into the trimmer where I can actually trim this down and get it lined up. I know that my ending is way over here um, right at the end of the game. There we go. And then that's the start. We'll, we'll, we'll end up aligning the clips a little bit better later on, but for now that should be good. And I can click the add button and it's going to add it to the timeline. Now, you'll notice it's not taking up the full screen yet. We can increase this. We just gotta grab either side here and we can just increase the size. Do the same here. And there we go. We are pretty centered now. And I can even click here on a timeline. This is something called a playhead. I can click through just to make sure my character is lined up, which it looks like he's perfectly lined up. Awesome. Um, so you can skip through, preview that, click play. You can click here to zoom in and out. So all those options are right there. Now for the next part, we're going to add our video clip here of me and my gameplay. So I'm just gonna click the plus button here and we'll end up aligning this better. But I do know I'm gonna have this big reaction at the ending. This is my gripping part, awesome. Um, and then we're gonna click add here. Now what I'm probably gonna do with this video is I'm gonna click the crop button. I'm gonna choose a one by one. And I'm gonna make the size smaller just to where it's showing my head here because they don't need to see all this. They just wanna see my reaction as I'm playing. So we'll align it like that and click done. And then what I'll probably do is change the size here just so that way people can still see the screen and everything um, as I'm playing. I'll actually skip ahead a bit further just to make sure people can see everything that's going on there as I'm playing. Awesome. And what I'll actually do, this bottom part isn't that useful for people seeing the game. So I'm actually gonna increase the size a bit more just so that way our character is a little more centered there. We can still see what's going on in the game for this part here, which is great, um, but we can also see my reaction there at the bottom. Now, probably the next important part is to align our audio properly with our video so we're actually reacting on time. So what I like to look for is a notable area where something dramatic happened, where I'm reacting crazily, and that helps me align like the rest of the video. So right here, what actually happens, I'll click play here. 
I might actually make this. No, what was that? No, no. So that, that was like the crazy scene. That's probably what we're gonna build up to there. Um, so I know if I can align my audio perfectly with that and it's a perfect reaction, I know I can take this side and trim it to that end. I can trim this to that end and I know it's gonna be aligned throughout the rest of the video. So that's kind of how I match up audio. I look for those points of so I can you know align it properly, at least with my gaming content. And now with all of this aligned, we just have to figure out what are we gonna pick and choose for this short form content and what are we gonna add to make it more interesting. Now, obviously the most important part with editing shorts is finding those interesting moments and capturing them, which for this part, I'm like running, I'm in first, and then I get hit by this wood log and I fall off the edge and it's really sad. So what I wanna do is it being like epic dramatic music as I'm running in first and then I get hit and like a funny noise plays and then I want rain playing and sad music going as I lose my first spot and I end up losing this game. So that's the kind of style I'm going for this TikTok. So what I'm going to do is align it right here where I'm about to say like, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. There we go, okay, 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 I'm winning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the split button and then down here, I'm also gonna click the split button just so that way we keep those two aligned and then I'm just gonna delete each of these video clips and I can just drag them up back to the beginning here so that way we're still aligned. So we'll go through, I'm about to do well, I get hit, all sadness happens and we'll probably end up slowing it down there too. So here we're gonna click split again and click split again because that's all we're editing. Delete those parts out. And there we go. We have our section here that we're gonna be doing fun stuff to. So what we're gonna add, we're gonna go over to the music section here. And what's really awesome about NVIDIA is it's all sorted. It's really easy to find something that we wanna go for. So we have cinematic right here. So I can click on this and I can start scrolling through the songs and try to find something really impressive that we can add for this uh, funny short here. Okay, so I just found the perfect song. I'm gonna turn up my volume so you can hear this. It's amazing. It is awesome. All right, so I'm adding this to my timeline here. And once it goes in, we'll actually end up trimming the video just to the part that I wanna use that's gonna sound so epic as I was about to win the game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to right click on this and I'm gonna click the trim button and up here it's actually gonna show me how, uh, where I need to trim. So I can drag this over and then I can also preview it by clicking play. <laughs> there we go, I got it aligned perfectly. So I can click the done button and then right there, let's just get it lined up. Right there, we're going to split and we are going to delete. And now we wanna add a fun sound effect here. So I'm gonna go over to sound effects and we're just gonna find something funny like a Wah. And all I did, I searched cartoon Bane and I found this which we're probably gonna use. So I'm just gonna add it in here. All right, and then we're just gonna split it here and then delete the loop part. And then we're also gonna click on this. I'm gonna make sure the volume's turned down a little bit. We also don't really need to fade out. It can just be there. And then right here, we're gonna do a slow motion. So we're just going to split the clip and split this one here as well. And what we can actually do is we can go over to the speed icon right here, where we can slow it down to something like uh, 0.5. It's like a nice slow fall. And I also turned off the volume here for uh, myself, just so that way we can have that sad music playing. So I'm gonna go over the music. We should have a sad section here. I'm gonna go over to moods. I'm gonna go to something like sad. There we go, and let's find a song. So we're gonna add that in. And then probably to enhance this even further, we're gonna go up to the adjust colors section. Um, I'm probably gonna do something like, uh, what is it, uh, tone here. Just turn the saturation down. We are going black and white. I'm gonna do the same with this media clip here. We're gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna go to this clip and click add again. And we are going to trim, at the end of this game, I really react um, super upset like. So where is it? Right there. Just to add the drama of me losing. We're going to uh, do this little section here um, and click add. And instead of this being our reaction, this is going to be. And yes, I know it's not the exact same spot, but hey, we're making TikToks. We're making funny videos. That's what we got to do here. So there's, there's Mr. Sad Colin. We're going to do the same thing, make him black and white. All right, and now with that added, let's take a listen to this and see how this sounds. Unbelievable. Oh, we were right there. What's going on? 
<laughs> that is awesome. Now, two other things we need to add here. Number one, we need some text in the beginning to kind of hook people in um, and be a little bit more relatable because that's kind of how a lot of these texts, you know, TikToks are. So I'm actually going to choose this one here. I like these black bars. So I'm just going to click on this one and should bring it in. There we go. We should be able to click the pencil icon to edit here. I'm going to do, all right, there's our little gripping opening part. Every game this happens and we're going to shrink it down a bit. We're going to move it up here and we are going to also rotate it a bit just so it's a little bit off to the side like that. Awesome. And then we're just going to do it for the first few seconds here, the first two seconds. So when someone sees this video, it hooks them in and then we can get on to the other parts. And then what I also want to do is I want to have some rain effects as it's sad and the music's playing is black and white. So what we can actually do is go over to videos here and we can actually add some stock footage of rain and be able to put it on our video. Now with the premium version of NVIDIA, you get access to the premium stock footage as well as the iStock library. There is some free stock footage that comes with this, but I definitely recommend using that code column 25, you get 25% off the annual plans and you get access to everything. But I'm just gonna search up here rain and see what comes up. I found this awesome rain footage right here. So I'm just gonna click the plus button to add it into our section here gonna line it up with our our video there awesome increase the size here so it takes up the full screen and then what I should be able to do is go over here to the effects section and go to blending and I should be able to blend this in so what I can do then is turn this from normal to screen and as you can see it removes that black but we still have the sad rain. And what we'll actually do to kind of make this fade in is we're gonna go over to the transition section right here, the animations, and do an in animation of just fade in. So it'll kind of slowly fade in onto the screen as the, the sad music's playing here. And what we'll actually also do is we're gonna go over to music and we're just gonna search rain and pull up some rain sound effects while this is going on. So we're gonna add this thunderstorm rain heavy downpour and we're also going to make sure this volume's low because we don't want it to be overpowering. We just want it in the background. And then we also want to make sure that it fades in too, just so it has time for the, the rain to catch up. Let's see what we've got here. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, I think I'm in first. I think I'm in first. I don't see anyone else in front of me. This is it. This is opportunity. I might actually make this. No! What was that? No! Unbelievable. Oh, we were right there. What's going on? <laughs> that is gold. That is awesome. And with our short video done, we can actually go over to this download section and we can export it out. Uh, if you are on the free version, it's going to be 720p. But if you want that 1080p, again, get that premium version. Column 25 is that code. You'll get 25% off the annual plans. We can click export. It's going to save it and compose it together. And then we can download it on our computer and then upload it to TikTok or to send it to our phone so we can upload it anywhere from there. Now, maybe you're interested in editing your YouTube videos with this online editing platform. And I actually just did a video walking you through how to make YouTube videos with this. So be sure to click on this video to go over and watch that. And I'll see you guys over there.